Hi, welcome back to another episode. I am Dr. King. Today, we will discuss a very interesting topic. Does soul exist? This is a highly debated question. Scientists, philosophers, religious people, theists, atheists, self-proclaimed rationalists, each have their own answer. All of them have their own strong reasons to believe what they believe. Let me just take up these answers one by one and elaborate a bit more on various views on this very interesting debate. Answer 1. There is no proof that it does. That is what a true scientist would say. He won't say, soul does not exist since he does not have a proof for that either. Science deals with material things things that can be validated directly or indirectly through sense perception. And science needs proof for everything. Most scientists view a being as just the body. Even the so-called mind is only the brain in action. But there are others, also scientists, who say, maybe it exists. For example Dr. Stevenson, who is a professor of psychiatry and the head of the Division of Perceptual Studies at the University of Virginia, studied thousands of cases all over the world, which seem to prove the possibility of rebirth. If rebirth is possible, does it not prove the existence of soul? Not necessarily. Rebirth can happen even if soul does not exist. Sounds weird? We will see that next. Answer 2. Useless question to ask. Buddhists, while they believe firmly in rebirth, at the same time insist that the soul does not exist, anatta, no atta, no soul, as they declare. Buddhism considers everything as momentary, anicca. So there cannot be anything like soul that is eternal. According to them, only things that exist, that is, momentarily, our body and mind. It is the mind that replicates itself in a new body when rebirth takes place. There is no soul that migrates. Read my book Important Missing Dimensions in our current understanding of the mind for details. But interestingly, Buddha who was so concerned with miseries of humans, and elimination of miseries, never categorically denied the existence of soul. He merely kept talking about what is not soul. Body is not soul, mind is not soul, feeling is not soul, and so on. But never said what soul is. According to Buddha, asking the question does soul exist is not only useless but can derail a person from his quest to freedom from miseries. So, better focus on liberation and not on useless questions. But, liberation for whom? That is the question which begs for an answer. Ancient Songhaya philosophers mocked at the conclusion that soul does not exist. For them it is an illogical inference. We will see that next. Answer 3. Of course it is. The ancient Songhaya philosophers adopted a purely dialectical approach to everything. They even went to the extent of rejecting the idea of God since, according to them, the concept of God is not essential to explain the world as it exists. But they were very firm on the existence of soul. The Songhaya considered the body as a tool whose purpose is to perceive and enjoy the material world, the object. But if there is nobody who perceives or enjoys, then what is the purpose of all these paraphernalia? Does it not look ridiculous to have all these complex mechanisms without someone who is really benefited by them? Whether it is pleasure or pain, there has to be someone sentient who undergoes them. Moreover, Matter is insentient and cannot act on its own without being coaxed by someone who is sentient. The user of a tool cannot be material since that would lead to endless regression. And that user is the soul, the subject. That is the way Songhaya argues its case. Read my book Important Missing Dimensions in our current understanding of the mind for details. 
early Vedic seers went even a step further. Let us see what they said in the next. Answer 4. Only the soul exists and nothing else. The Upanishads declare that it was only the soul that existed in the very beginning. And this soul became many. Upanishads talk about the single soul that existed in the beginning. They say that this soul appears in three different forms, as the Supreme Soul, Paramatma, as individual souls, Jivatma, and matter, Prakriti. Various descriptions of this process of the one becoming many, appear in different Upanishads. Read my book, Ancient Wisdom, Modern Viewpoints for Details. Later philosophers haggled on the point whether it was really one that became many, or there were many right from the beginning. But none questioned the existence of the soul as such. No matter what the conclusion of this endless debate is, most Indian philosophies, excepting the Buddhas, were unanimous on one point. Let us see that in the next. Answer 5. That is the question that can liberate you. Though there were disagreements among Indian philosophers about the real nature of the soul, and whether it is one or many, they seem to be unanimous on one issue. Let us see some of these views one by one. In an interesting story of Vedic Siriyajnavakaya, in Brahmadarinayaka Upanishad, the seer gives an elaborate reason why one should ask this question and try to understand what the soul is. He says that that is the only way for eternal peace. The Sankhya The Sankhya philosophers said that, that is the only way one can come out of the miseries one undergoes in the world. According to them, the root cause of our miseries, is the lack of knowledge that we are the souls, and not the bodies, as we often tend to think. Yoga Patanjali talks about realizing that we are the souls, as the ultimate gateway to liberation. Once you realize that fact, you are liberated. Reaching Samadhi, at the culminating step of yoga, is the way to attain this realization. So, all these ancient philosophers not only asserted that the soul exists, but also the need to realize the soul without which we will get trapped in endless cycle of miseries. Thank you very much for listening to me. I hope you not only enjoyed this episode but also found a lot of useful information. Please leave your comments and feedback. As always, you can contact me through my blog. Alternatively, you can post any questions that you may have in the Ask Me section of my blog. I will surely answer them. Have a nice day.